Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Hope you all are doing well. This is our fifth session wherein we'll see how to create TR, what are its types, and then we'll see a bit of transport layer and what is transport route. Okay, so let's start with our today's session. Okay, right now, I'm logging into my development system. The screen which you're seeing right now is nothing but your by default screen. Like whenever you log in into your system, you will be able to see the screen. The screen is called as SAP Easy SS. Okay, you can see the description of the screen on the top left corner. A bit more information about uh, who is the current logged in user, then what is the current uh, T code you are running on the screen, you will be able to see over here. Just click over here and you will be able to see the system ID, then client, like which client you are logged in, whether it is development client, testing client and all, then username, then uh, the program name, the transaction name and details like this okay and here you can see uh, you can save your favorite report t code wh whatever it may be okay you can save it as a favorite and able to see over here then you can see uh, sap menu by ex expanding this folder here it is the menu bar of the sap or whatever t code you want to access you will write over here okay and uh, say for example I, I want to overwrite the current t code i'll make the use of slash n and if I want to open a new window, I'll make the use of the slash O. Like say for example, uh, I want to create a program in the another window, I'll make use of the slash O, then SE38. Another window will get open and here you will see the SE38 T code. Okay, now I'm making the use of slash and SE38. It will override the current uh, T code. Okay. Okay. and one more thing yeah maximum you can have the access to the six windows and after that when you try to open one more window you'll get a pop of life like this saying maximum number of gui session reached okay so we'll keep exploring all of this stuff uh, in the upcoming videos but uh, let's stick to the topic uh, which is all about tr TR is nothing but your transport request. Okay. Earlier in my third session where, where we have seen the system landscape where there are three systems which are development, quality and production. These landscapes gives us the flexibility to develop, test and run our uh, underdeveloped code before we actually deliver it to the end users. In this way, we can find and fix bugs that, that can actually cause errors or dumps. Now, to make the connection between this landscape and uh, transfer our code, SAP provides us something called as transport request, which is nothing but your TR. Whenever the developer creates an object or makes the changes in the existing object, whether it may be a small change or major change, system will ask for the TR. We will save all our changes or our developments in TR only. TR will help us to transfer the object from one system to the another system. Okay, now let us see how we can create a TR. Now, say for example, uh, if I'm taking any random object, say for example, I'm creating uh, a report, I'll make the use of the T code SE38. I'm creating a report, I'll explain <laughs> like how to create reports and all in upcoming videos. But right now, I'm taking a random object where a TR pop up will appear and we'll, we'll get to see how TR can be created. Okay. So as of now, I'm creating a random report. I'll save it in a package and a pop up like this will appear asking you for the TR. Okay. Now I don't have TR. I don't have the existing TR, right? If you do have existing TR, all you will have to do is to click the F4 button uh, in this field. You will get to see a list of the TRs and you can select your uh, existing TR and save the changes or object in that TR itself. Okay. Now I'm creating a new TR. Just click on the create button and uh, write whatever description you want to put. Like uh, say for example, I am writing it as a demo TR creation. Okay. I will save it and then click on continue. I will activate this program and if you want to see what all objects are saved in your TR, you can go to the T code SC09 or SC10. This is SC09 T code. I uh, will click on this uh, display button over here and we will put my TR number and we will click on continue. I will be able to see the TR. 
if you want to see the list of the objects you have saved in your tr all you have to do is just expand this sub tr and you will able to see like we have created uh, the z demo 12 report right similarly you will get all your objects which you have saved in your tr okay now one more important thing now these trs have the sub trs which is also called as a child tr and these tr is your parent tr all our objects don't get saved directly in the parent or the main tr but are saved in the in the child tr so for one single main tr you can have multiple uh, sub trs okay now you must be assuming that why this tr uh, is the combination of the alphabets and the numbers right now the tr transport request have its own syntax or have its own format i would say let's just see that okay this this is your format of the tr now here sid stands for the system id okay now while setting up the configuration whatever you have entered in your system id it will be that three letters sid okay then uh, k in the format k in the syntax stands for the keyword or alphabet instead of k there might be r okay now the k represents the co file data and the r represents the data file okay once a transport requ request is released it creates either co file or data file now co file contains all the controlling data and the data files contains all the database details okay now this number it is nothing but a series or the number range which starts with 9 4 times 0 1 okay this was your uh, tr format also there is one another way to create the tr form like there are two ways either uh, you start your either you start with your development and while saving it will ask you for the tr or first of all you create your tr and then uh, go for your development okay now the another way is slash o sc09 from sc09 also you can uh, create your tr as you can see over here there is a create button just click on it we will see the types of the tr very soon as of now i am creating the workbench request just click on the workbench request then click on click and give the description whatsoever and again click on the save you a new series will get created and uh, which is your new tr okay now let's see the process to delete your tr okay now this was our very first tr which we have created okay wherein we have uh, the program named z demo 12 okay now you you just cannot delete your tr directly like you can see over here the delete button just click on this delete it and information saying cannot be deleted because it contains a lock objects what does it specify you, similarly you cannot delete your parent tr as well same information will be thrown okay for the deletion of the tr you have to delete your objects first i am deleting my object from this tr it doesn't mean that i'm deleting my program okay just get to know the difference between these two statements i'm not deleting my report i am just deleting my object from this tr i'll click on my object and click on the delete button uh, a pop up will appear just continue it say yes object is locked delete entry from object list yes then you can easily delete your tr okay i'll first uh, delete my child tr and delete yes and then we'll delete my parent tr yes yes now this was our tr right now if you see the tr if you try to find your tr in sc09 t code the tr is deleted okay great now yes there are basically two different types of the tr they are customizing request and the workbench request okay now i have shown you the how to create the workbench request right similarly you can create your customizing tr okay now what is your workbench request workbench request are cross client changes done in one client are automatically reflected in all other client uh, say for example in my development client itself i have two clients 100 which is for development and 120 which is for testing okay now i have created a report uh, from sc38 t code in 100 client i can see the very same report without transferring to 120 client it will come or reflect automatically in the 120 client okay but in case of the customizing request customizing request these trs are client specific the change will not reflect in other clients 
now if i am doing any changes in 100 client it will not reflect in the 120 client for that there is another way there is a manual way to do so using the t code scc1 which you have to run in 120 client to copy the changes from 100 client to 120 client okay uh, there is also one more thing which is called as transport of copies this is nothing but a single tr containing one or more than one trs in it okay now let us see what is transport layer and and its route i know this is a bit of basis module concept but uh, you should know how our objects flows from one system to the another system right now what is transport layer okay. now if you want to make any changes in the transport layer you require the administration authorization or only system administrator can make the changes in it we are not allowed to do any changes by we i meant technical person or any functional person we are not allowed to do any changes in it now how you can see or uh, get to know what is the transport layer of your system with the help of stms t code okay now go to the t code stms you can either click on this transport routes button or uh, you can go from overview and transport routes okay okay your transport layer name will be zs4d okay and uh, the transport route uh, now what is transport route as the name itself suggests the transport route that are defined by the sap administrator to transfer the changes between different sap system again there are two different types of the transport route one is one is consolidation route and the another one is your delivery route in consolidation route to make the changes transportable we make the use of this route which is consolidation for each transport layer in this route the development system is your source and the quality is your target system whereas in the delivery route after you have imported your development work into the quality system you then you then want to transport it into your production system you may even want to transport it to the several other sap systems which might be your training system to do so we have to set up this delivery route okay and in this route the qas is your source system and the prd is your target system and there can be multiple delivery routes okay i hope this session was helpful to you and if you have any queries regarding the same you can comment down below and yeah so that's all for this video we will meet in the next session till that bye bye take care